Hello again guys and welcome to what was supposed to be just a physical media update video but it's kind of just movies in general update um because today Friday I understand I'm probably uploading this on Saturday or Sunday um but uh today on Friday uh four new Ghostbusters uh Frozen Empire TV spots were uploaded and I figured I wanted to react to them I almost just didn't even do this update video in general and just did that instead uh, but I figured, why not just tag those on to the end and then, uh, you know, do the, the rest of this at the beginning. So you guys can skip to the end um, if you're here for that. Uh, but if you're here for my updates, um, here's what I got for you. So a couple of days ago, maybe a week now, I don't even know, um, Warner Brothers started sending out these uh, polls through their A-list email. Now, I'm not on this email. Uh I don't even know how to get on this email. So on these polls, um, they were basically asking uh, what titles uh, their customers would want to see on 4K. Um, and they had a list, and uh, so I'm going to read through that list in a minute. But, um, uh, yeah, so I, I don't get, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of surprising to me that they're even doing this, considering the fact that, um, you know, they're struggling a lot right now at least in terms of putting movies out um because they're holding back salem's lot right they might not even put that out that was supposed to come out like a year or two ago um then they just canceled uh, acme versus uh or, or not, not acme what am i saying um not the roadrunner that that movie uh i forgot what it was called I, I wasn't really looking forward to it, but uh, I, I, I had heard about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, pu I'll put the name for it there. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, they've been struggling. to, And they're only releasing, like, two films a year. Um, so, I, 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 I take it this is, like, a different department. They have more money in this department. So, anyway. So, here's the titles uh, that you're actually here for. Um, and there's no, there's actually no bad titles, but there are a few that I would definitely pick over the others. So here they are: Blade two and three, Caddyshack, The Conjuring films, not The Devil Made Me Do It, uh, because uh, that would that's already on 4K. Um, Dancing or Dances with the Wolves, uh, Dirty Harry, Friday, The Lethal Weapon films, uh, The Nightmare on Elm Street films, which everyone's been wanting for a long time and i'm really surprised that are not on 4k yet um the terminator films now it's unclear if this would include a re-restoration of terminator 2 but we would have to see and the one i want the most one flew over the cuckoo's nest um now it's also important to note that we will probably see the terminator films at least the first one uh this year anyway uh because of the fact that it's the 40th anniversary, so, um, but we should be getting all these films anyway, no matter what, it's just which ones will come first, so, uh, it's nice to see that they've got, I'm, I really hope for the Conjuring movies, because if you guys watched my, uh, Blu-ray, uh, collection video, I'm starting to try and get the Conjuring series on, uh, Blu-ray 4K, instead of having it on a DVD pack here, so, yeah, but anyway, let's get on to the second piece of news, which is about Sony and Disney. Alright, so the other day, and by the other day, I mean probably like Tuesday or Wednesday, um, the Disney Movie Club, uh, which, I mean, is, is something that goes back to when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure, um, shut down. So, uh, I mean, we were never members of it, uh, uh, so, but this was, you know, the way that you would get, uh, those kind of more obscure Disney titles, as far as I'm aware. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so it shut down. Um, then the next day, whatever day that was, <laughs> um, uh, it was revealed that Sony had actually purchased uh, Disney, or the the Disney's um, physical media distribution rights. It would be a complete lie if I said Sony had purchased Disney. Uh, if anything, it would be the other way around. But <laughs> um, So yeah, so they had purchased the Disney uh, physical media distribution rights 
Um, now, that might be seen as a bad thing to some people. I mean, the whole Disney Movie Club shutting down, especially. But I, I see that as a really good thing. Now, Sony is uh, particularly well known as, you know, giving out the best quality uh, in terms of, you know, video and sound, uh, in terms of the big studios like Warner Brothers and Paramount and whatnot. So, um, that's good, right? You know, get better quality movies, you know, on physical media, right? So that's great. Um, but also I'm really, what I'm really hoping is that we get more of these older titles like National Treasure, um, because I really want National Treasure, you know, not on DVD. I want it on Blu-ray or 4K, and I'm not going to buy a 13-year-old Blu-ray, um, because that's kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we'll see. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it won't change. Maybe there'll be even more gatekeepy Disney will, um, and not release any older titles. Who knows? So we will, we'll have to see about that. Um, but that's really all I have to say about that. I don't really know a whole bunch of what's going on, you know, in terms of behind the scenes. Um, that's just kind of the most of my knowledge on the topic and my thoughts. I, I just really hope that we do get more of those older titles with Sony, um, now in the mix and we get some, uh, good, good cover art, you know, not like, not stuff like this. Hope we get some, you know, good quality stuff from sony but all right let's get into that ghostbusters uh tv spots i'm gonna have some stuff to talk about so alrighty so uh before we get into the ghostbusters stuff i have one more thing i want to talk about now it's uh saturday as you can tell by the change of clothes um so this is why it's also a little bit delayed i don't know if i'm still gonna be uploading it today or tomorrow whatever um but so i just found out that um, there's been some developments with AI in terms of filmmaking. Now, I'm not too educated on this, but I just had some thoughts I'd like to share and some new perspectives that I want to throw out. Um, so, from what I know, uh, Tyler Perry, the the man behind the Medea films, um, has said that he will be using AI in his future films, and now. AI has come so far over just the past year alone. Um, I mean, before, uh, you know, we had videos like this, you know, that looked awful. And now we have videos that look like this that you almost can't even tell are AI unless you really are looking, right? You would, you know, if you're just shown the video, you, you wouldn't even notice unless somebody pointed out and was like, hey, that's AI, right? So, I've been using AI for a while now to create, you know, digital art and things, right? Um, but I haven't used it, you know, alone. I've never, you know, used AI art and just slapped it on and said, this is my creation, because it's not, it's AI art. Um, I've always used it as a backdrop, um, and then I've edited it myself, and made it my own because I don't have the skills or the ability to, you know, create that base layer of, you know, whatever artwork that, you know, I was doing for, you know, whatever. So, you know, I understand using AI in art. Um, and I mean, for the most part, I don't have, I don't see what's too wrong with it as long as you're not, you know, saying it's your own right but when it comes to films uh I, I feel differently and i really feel like ai should not be used um because it, it it's just wrong uh and if it is being used you know it should be advertised as this film was created with ai and you know it should not be hidden and there should you know you should the audience should know right um, but I would like to throw out a, um, potential pro that I see with AI in filmmaking. Now, there's plenty of young filmmakers, uh, out there, right, who don't have the money and the resources or anything, frankly, the cameras, nothing, 
to make their own films, but they have ideas and stories that are worth seeing. I mean, I have so many ideas that I would love to pursue, but I could never even get behind one of them because I, I just, I can't do it. I don't have the money. I don't have the, the crew. I don't have people, you know, I don't, I don't have the equipment. I don't have anything. But if I had AI, you know, I, I wouldn't need any of that. I just need the AI generator, right? So, I mean, I, I could totally see it as a way to get, you know, um, these newer uh, voices, or not voices, but creators um, into the business and whatnot. But at the same time, there's, you know, it's also going to be a flood of, you know, this a these AI movies and, yeah. So, there's good, there's pros and cons to it, uh, but I, I just want to throw that as a perspective. Um, because the way I look at it is there's definitely pros, right? And everybody has recognized the cons at this point. Um, but I just feel like, you know, maybe we should take a step back and, you know, see what maybe that there's good behind it, right? So, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, please let me know your thoughts. Now, the rest of the video from this point on was recorded without the knowledge of this. So I'm not going to mention it from this point on. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, let's get back to Ghostbusters and your regularly scheduled video. All right. So as I said before, uh, we got four new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire TV spots. Um, I'm going to say a special thanks to Ghostbusters fan 64513 for saving me a little bit of time and compiling all four of them together and uploading them to YouTube. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so without further ado, let's get uh, let's get into it. Um. The city is under siege by an army of ghosts. We're gonna need more firepower. Can I be of any help? Aren't you retired? Grab your juice boxes. New York is only the beginning. Red Parker Jr. What would you have done back in the day? I'd have showered and shaved and hit the clubs. That's really helpful. Thank you. Ghostbusters, March 22nd. Okay. We're the Ghostbusters. It's our job to protect the city. All right, that was cool. We might be looking at an army of ghosts. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Melnitz in uniform, yeah. What is it? Doomsday. Heads up! Tall, dark, and horny at 12 o'clock. Okay, nothing March particularly new on that one. Oh. What are you doing? It's a nightmare. Disgusting. This city is under siege. Any ideas on how to fight an army of ghosts? Wait, do we even have weapons? Oh, Look wait, that was a freak. Weapons. There we go. So cool. Welcome to the That's paranormal a trash bag. Center. What the hell was that? A bike? Yeah. Ghostbusters, March 22nd. Welcome to the Paranormal Research Excuse Center. Hey, he's cute. Oh. What is it? This is the start of the apocalypse. Ah. Disgusting. New packs. <laughs> All right, that was cool. How did you get all the way up here? Oh, no, no, no. Ghostbusters, March 22nd. I'm liking uh, James Acaster's character there. Um, but there are a couple. I don't want to, you know, analyze, you know, do a full analysis of this. Um, because I don't want to be editing this all, you know, night. Uh, but... There are a couple things I want to talk about here. Um, we get a look at this new bike thing, which, frankly, I don't really like the look of. I mean, it looks super modern, and I, I, I just, I just don't know. I, it's too sleek into you know kind of I, I don't know i don't know if it's 
if I should call it's not a bike it's not a bike it's like I don't know what those things are called but um it, it can like transform itself somehow I don't know and I, I get that you know you know us Ghostbusters fans we love to get like the new technology and stuff in this in the movies we didn't get that really in Afterlife um but I feel like it's going a little bit overboard this time. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I I, I, I I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it, it, bike? Yeah, that's a bike. Because it looks like it has like a side C like in Indiana Jones. You know how... In the last crusade, I think, um, with his dad there. I don't know. That's weird. We see a couple of looks at a new ghost, which was uh, advertised in one of their uh, little promotional videos, uh, the Possessor, and so it it uh, goes inside of the the lion at the um, the New York Public Library and this trash bag. <laughs> um, so that's I guess something i don't know i don't know I'll, i'm curious to see what it's uh you know main primary form is but maybe it has no form but we'll see now there's one last thing that i wanted to bring up here and that's we get to see um paul rudd and bill murray in front of the containment unit in the basement we had got a photo of that uh pretty early on uh, in terms of the promotional stuff uh for the movie um, and it got, like, everybody worried, because the way it was framed, it appeared as though, um, Peter Venkman had died, um, and was, like, coming back as a ghost to, like, aid Paul Rudd or the rest of the cast there, um, but it seems like they, that's not the case, so, that seems good, um, because, uh, if you don't know, uh, back when Ghostbusters 3 was initially supposed to happen back like 20 years ago, um, Bill Murray had said he wanted his character to die, and that did not happen, <laughs> so, um, thankfully, of course, but, um, yeah, so, uh, there's the scoop, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and yeah, if you guys have any thoughts or theories, let me know. Um, I always love to, you know, respond to you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week uh, for... I, I might do two videos next week. I have uh, one that I, I want to make kind of out of passion um, about Ghostbusters, actually, too. So, um, but yeah, so... Uh, I might do two videos, but I will definitely see you guys for the monthly audit. So, yeah, have a good, have a good one.